For the past several weeks, artists have been using their talents to ease the overwhelming burden of the COVID-19 pandemic. And included in that worldwide cast are several artists associated with the Repertory Theater of St. Louis. I'm in Johannesburg at the moment, yeah. At the time of this interview, Benjamin Jephta was supposed to be in St. Louis, playing in the band for the world premiere of Dreaming Zenzile, a musical about South African singer and civil rights activist Miriam Makeba. But just a few days before opening night, the spread of the virus forced the rep to postpone the show. Now, while Ben waits for word about the future of Dreaming Zenzile, he has premiered a musical performance of his own and posted it to the internet, hoping in some small way to give a troubled world a moment of peace. I put that out just to like show people that um, I guess artists are still around and still trying to create art. And even from from what's happening, I think this is the best time to maybe do inspiration from from um, to create some new work or to create some new art. Is it therapeutic for the artist as well as the, the listener? I think definitely so. I can't go a day without having touched my instrument and having to play something. Uh, I find it uh, the kind of the best therapy for me. Katie Kleiger is a performer who is making her healing contribution with an original song. Kleiger starred in the Rep's 2019 production of Pride and Prejudice. The sky that you see is the same sky as me. Her new internet performance is a song called Oxygen, which features about a dozen other performers. Now, the song itself, does it have any connection to what we're all going through, or was it just a song you wrote on the spot and sounded pretty and you thought, let's record that? It's really almost impossible for me to write something that doesn't um, reflect something I'm currently feeling. Basically, I was just already just getting really anxious about, you know, tomorrow and the next day in the future. And I think that is a big theme in the song is just like what happens when you kind of just like think yourself into a hole. So um, I wrote it on Monday and then I sent it to six people. Each of them had two hours. So that was the full span of the day. On Wednesday, I sent it to five more people. Wow. Talk about community spread in a good way this yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Katie considers herself lucky. Her run at the rep ended just as the pandemic was beginning. As for Ben, his dream is for Dreaming Zenzile to be restaged. This was more than just a job. This was sort of a deeply yes. personal performance for you guys. Yes, definitely. I, I think this was a, 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 a story that people needed to know about or, and a person that people needed to know about. The day before they told us that it, they would have to cancel it for now is we had our first full run of the show. We were very positive and we were like, yes, this is a, this is a good thing. And I guess it was very... It was very really heartbreaking yeah, when it when they canceled. You haven't given up on dreaming, Zenzile. We are working literally every day to wrangle schedules and to lock in a date. Um, but I feel really fortunate that every single person in that room is deeply uh, invested in being able to bring that show to St. Louis audiences. With everything, I make the joke, which I don't know if it's any funny at all, but. <laughs> Um, we'll take whatever we can get at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actors are some of, artists are some of the only people in the world right now who are used to being out of work. Don't you need air? There's no oxygen there down below. In the midst of this pandemic, many have cited the words of Fred Rogers, who famously said in scary times, his mother always told him to look for the helpers. Don't you need air? For solace in these scary times, it seems we can also look for the artists. In my social sphere, which again is all artists, I'm like seeing some of the most creative, uplifting, beautiful, emotional, inspirational work being done. I think we all actually knew pretty quickly that like, oh, this is this is our time. Like this is some this is important that we step up right now.